YTAA basically is a Beirut-based uh, architectural studio um, who believes in an architectural process uh, that re-questions the world we live in. Um, we work basically on three different scales. The first scale is, is the human scale, which are the villas, interconnecting buildings, which are the intermediary scale, and cities, which are the urban scale. And we work on these three scales in a very specific manner. I'm going to start by just presenting some of these scales in, in some projects, and then we'll go more into details in order to show you the Villa T. Um, this is a, a villa in the mountains of Lebanon. The villa is enclosed from the outside. It marries the landscape and it opens up into a 50 meter de deep valley from the other side. It is a concrete uh, material from the inside, stone from the outside, in order for the client to feel free when he's inside of his house. This is a more uh, stepped landscape in order to empower the landscape, we created two cantilevered roofs where the user basically lives inside of nature and empowers nature. We see more the white concrete cantilevers that connect into nature. We move to the intermediary level with the UAG campus, which are six interconnected buildings that filter public space inside the project, taking it from the ground floor into the roof in order to empower the city of Beirut within the buildings. The BLF Disaster Center is a revisit of a bunker. This bunker is basically cl closed from the outside. It opens up more when we enter inside in order for people to exchange. Kalani Project is a re revisit of the seashore and the mountain rooftop relationship through creating several sailing structures. These sailing structures are habitat units. We move more into the urban scale. It was a 750,000 square meter project in Bordeaux, France. It is located on the Garonne River in front of the Pont Chaban d'Elmas, which is the new bridge that connects the old center with the new center. We wanted also to empower the human intervention within a neighborhood. So we created a landscape and several habitat functions and made the human really choose where he wants to live in relationship to the nature. Basically, we believe that an architectural project is a meeting between a client and architect in order to envision a dream where both take a common risk. Villati is perched on a mountainous, uh, mountainous rocky site in the suburban mountains of Lebanon. The site has a pine forested environment. It is directly cantilevered towards the Beirut city view and the Mediterranean sea horizons. We wanted to really re-question what is a habitat and what is a new way of a contemporary life or living experience. Villa T is not only a house or a structured framework or a box. It is a sensational experience and movement with an unending discoveries. We wanted to re-question also what is an entrance, what is a living area, what is a sleeping area, what is a garden or a pool. This is why we took the functions and we positioned them in front of the view. With a faulted cantilevered slab, with always a white concrete structure and finish, having 13 meter cantilever on its width and 70 meter length facade cantilever on its length, with no columns, we created several experiences of these functions while having two cores, two functional cores carrying this folded slab. We draw the limit between the exterior and the interior with the multiple spaces, and we empower the visitor and the inhabitant to write their own scenarios within these functions. Villati is a brutalist project, 
yet it is soft, serene. It is more a contrast between these two experiences, much like Lebanon. So Villati for us basically is an empowerment of the human scale in order to have several experiences in relationship to the city of Beirut, to Lebanon, and to its immediate context. Thank you.